Hey everybody, welcome back to Terranigma. In order to figure out how to get through the Taklama Desert, I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not quite sure, we had to go to the Nomads. We've been to the Nomads before, so we knew exactly where to go. Uh, I don't think much is different in, yeah, they, they still pretty much are like, get out please. <laughs> uh... You want to take it outside. Now, there's something I did want to check out in one of these tents. Yeah, there's a girl that doesn't talk. If I remember correctly, we have to give her something. She's used to speaking to that child. She can't talk. Her parents disappeared. She hasn't spoken a word since. Uh, I think the next town that I go to, we can get something that we give to her for that. What did you say? A message from Meho? Any acquaintance of the of the fine man cannot be turned away without help. You wish to cross the lost desert. Remember these words carefully. Walk west until three boulders we call triangle stones. Turning south, seek boulders arranged as a serpentine dragon. Head northwest, turn north when you come alongside dragon skulls. The exit is near a giant skull. Go exactly as I said, and you will get through the desert. So I have to remember that, like, exactly. Because if you don't do it exactly, then you end up just lost woods, you know, version of it. You just go right back to the beginning. <laughs> so if you played Zelda, then you understand. I wanted to turn my encoding thing back, but then I remembered that this place is just like Loran and has the same friggin' thing. So I can't turn the encoder thing back. So now I have to go northwest until I see skulls, I think. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Oh, there we go. And then we go north. And, oh geez. There we go. We made it! <laughs> and that's how you get through the Taklama Desert. So now... Is there any secret area? Because sometimes there's secret areas, like, around that you can go to. The Balkans. That looks like a port. If you can hear my cat, I apologize. <laughs> Uh, I see a castle. We're not going to go there just yet. Lore? I'm, I'm just going to call it Lore. <laughs> Look, sis. It's White Wind. No, it's not. Hmm. It's not White Wind. Yeah, I'm not White Wind. I'm sorry. My brother made a silly mistake. White Wind is a thief. But he isn't an evil person. White Wind gives the poor like us the money he stole from the rich. I heard that White Wind was captured at the castle. I'm so worried. Oh. Well, maybe we'll pay the castle a visit eventually. I'm going to heckle Lush Lewis when he comes out. Why would you do that? If you're as hard up as me, you deserve a drink or two follow-up. Can I, can I have a drink? No. You want to hear my... You sure? You want to get something off your chest? Go ahead, I'm listening. Really? Yeah, you'll hear me out? The, this could be long, but okay. I'm listening. I'm all ears. Callus is a caring son. <laughs> really? So, thank you. I did an evil thing. I used to serve the king, but fell sick of it. The king did order it, but because of me, the villagers were killed. Just because I gave the protect bell to the king. Oh. I was expecting a really long story. And <laughs> protect bell serves as a guide through Norfest Forest. I got that bell from someone who claimed to be from Spain. If I didn't give that bell to the king, that village would be unharmed. Yeah, that would, uh, that would get somebody to start drinking, that's for sure. Let's check this place. Oh. 
Hi, did you come to buy one of my paintings? Oh, no. Oh, it's a kitty. Oh, it's nice to be in a village again. Like a normal village. It's the forest north of here. You're not going here, are you? Don't go, I heard horrible ghosts appear in that forest. You came back like that from Norfest Forest. Everyone that goes to Norfest Forest comes out badly disturbed. Maybe the rumors of ghosts are really true. Where is this? It's scary. Mommy, help. Jeez. Hello. Buy some flowers. I can't go home until I sell all these flowers. Make even a girl who doesn't talk or a penguin happy with flowers. Alright, I'll buy one. Thanks, but I have so much left I can't go home yet. Okay, I'll get another one. I think I only need two... If memory serves me right. If I'm wrong, then I'll grab another one later. That's all you're buying, cheapskate. Bitch. fortune teller. All is in the stars. Let me read your fortune. For free? Beware of dogs. A whistle for luck. What you seek is in the woods. So north. Great. So the woods that everybody says is cursed. Of course I gotta go there. <laughs> I'm Kynes. I am an economist and I forecast the growth of towns. This town's economy is stunted by the king's rigid rule. There's no hope for growth without a major change in policy. This town's economic growth index is 0%. So yeah, that is something that uh, we're going to be working on here, is the town's progress. And it's kind of a it's kind of a freaky thing to, to watch the town progress like that. Uh, I won't spoil anything. Well, well, welcome to Bounty's Inn. Uh-oh. We need to get our guests some wine. Oh no, I didn't agree to anything. You're gonna you're gonna charge me money for this crap, aren't you? We've also got exotic dancing, ooh, and music for you. Hey, this service is one of the most expensive. Oh dear God! Oh dear God! You're joking, right? I don't have that kind of money. Hey, pal, you pull my leg. Our pricing is very clear. If you can't pay, you can pay it off at the labor camp. Hold it. I just listened in, Bounty. Keeping your greedy hands dirty again. Don't you recall my warning? Clean up your act or pay with your life. Uh, not true. The, this is one of our special services. It's a new promotion to scare the guests then provide services free. Interesting. I will advertise this promotion to the village folk. Lady Fida, please, uh, please do. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry for, about that. Not everyone here is that low. Don't think badly of us. Oh, well, I just think badly of that, dude. Odd, I get this feeling I have met you before. If you plan to become the groom, you'll see the princess tomorrow. The princess? Cool. Get me a princess. That lady with the sword, she's Lady Fida, who guards the princess. A lady, but a fantastic swordsman, she's my heroine. Cool. Hey, save spot. Thank god I have not saved in ages. <laughs> I've got up like three levels since the last time I saved. Oh god. I make medicine. My sleeping potion is popular among insomniacs. I came to Mush Woods looking for ingredients, but found no mushroom. This season, you would expect even one to be growing. Okay. You can stay as long as you want. Free darn. I sure don't want to lose my head to Lady Fight. Wait, what is my health right now? Eh, it's not too bad. I'll do that off screen. Now, where are the shops? 
This is a magic shop. It's a shop, but it's not the one I'm looking for. I think I've... I've been in this one. No! Bronze Pike... Oops, I almost bought two of those. Light Rod... Silver Pike! Holy crap, here we go. There goes all my money again. Uh, there's armor here, but if I remember correctly, uh, I get the armor anyway. And I remember buying the armor when I first played through this game and getting really mad because I got the armor, like, not <laughs> too far from me. <laughs> like, god damn, I spent money. Because how much is the armor? Oh, it's not in this one. It's, it's probably in this one, obviously. Ring mail. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I spent like 1200 on that. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to call it an episode right now. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. And come on back for some more Terranigma. Anyway, guys, I'll see you all next time. Until then, bye-bye.